All right, continuing on, making our uh, walnut fob. I've got it long enough, I think, for a decent keychain. Like I said, this isn't a knot that, that will hold itself once you're finished, so you do have to do something with it. So what we're going to do is a little completion knot, as most people call it. What it is, is it's a version of a lanyard knot. So we're going to take our top, come straight down, and our bottom and go straight up. And you guys might recognize this as the square knot. It's just the beginning of it. We're going to take our right hand side and go over and under through the loop we've made. And then we're going to do the same thing with the left hand side and go over and under through the loop we've made. Now, we've started a square knot. We don't want it tight. We want to be able to, to work with this yet. We're going to use the center of it. What we're going to do is, going in a counterclockwise direction, we're going to take each thread and wrap it around the one next to it and up through the center. So in a counterclockwise direction, I'm going to take this thread wrap it around the one next to it and go up through the center of our square knot and I'm just going to turn it, continue the same grab the black, around the one next to it, up through the center grab my next thread around the one next to it up through the center now I've only got one left I'm going to go around the one next to it and up through the center Now if you look at it, you should see what looks just like a lanyard knot. What I do is I put my fingers on top of it to kind of keep it from pulling upward, and I just slowly take slack out of each one of the threads. I go around multiple times, pulling each thread just a little, until they tighten up. And once they tighten up, I should have a nice looking completion stitch on this. And sure enough, pretty much identical to a lanyard knot. In fact, it may be. I'm not so proficient with knots, I could tell you for sure. I just know that wouldn't be how I normally tie a lanyard knot. So, what we've got is our key ring with a double Matthew Walker knot on top. We've got wall knots the whole way down our key fob and then a nice completion stitch in both colors. Now I started with two strands that are four feet and you can see I've still got a fair bit left there so that should give you an idea of how much you need. I'd say probably two strands of three feet would probably be enough for a, a standard keychain key fob. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope that worked well for you. Any questions or comments, please post them up, and don't forget to subscribe. Have a great day.